Hello lady, ladies and gentlemen, this is Team Fortress TV. I'm Twiggy, I'm going to be joined by Stinson Out tonight co-casting with me and Jem is manning the camera. The game you're going to watch is the Prem Qualifier uh, upper bracket final between the two losers of yesterday, The Swamp and Danger Dog. Uh, Stinson Out, do you want to go to run through one of the rosters? Yes, hello, good evening to everyone. Um, I'll take the Danger Dogs if that's okay with you. No problem. Um, Scout, they will have Scrap. One sec. Hello? Scrap, Kermit uh, on Scouts. Uh, Nation on Roamer. Pocket will be Tom. Demo Man tonight is Smurder. He is actually subbing in for Spud who can't make it. And Medic is Morrow. Uh, Danger Ducks, of course, uh, you may know them from the past, at least uh, players who have been around for a little while. They played ever since season 17 and took a break after season 25. Last season, uh, they played a little bit in high, but um, added some players after the season and um, are looking to go back into Prem now. Um, I'm actually quite excited to see them and uh, I'm looking forward for a nice game. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting roster as you as you mentioned. Tom, who is may who may be holding the title for the shortest uh, retirement ever, calling it quits uh, four months ago. Plus Spud, who used to play for seven, could make for a very interesting game. And also they played against uh, the German team yesterday, right? The um, the shock, the shock. That's it. Or yeah. the the doofs. Yeah. The doofs. And uh, yeah, the Doofs, the Doofs are quite a, a, the tough team too, with uh, with Shoki, Kratos, and Clipper, uh, Clip and Eidos who are good players as well. So it's not like they they lost to to a bad team at all yesterday. It was a really close game too. Um, I think it was 2-0 on Badlands and 1-0 on Gulliver. So they weren't far away. They just couldn't quite cap around, and you know you do need to cap these rounds off uh, in order to win the games. Yep, and uh, tonight facing them as the blue team on CP Gulliwash will be the Swamp. You wanna do the roster too? The Swamp on Scout, they have Gink on the other Scout, Crayon on Roma Pret, Pocket will be Ellen or Ellen, Demo Domo and Medic Degu. Actually, most of these uh, players have, actually, all of these players have played Prem before. Uh, in Nuno or either 3th, 6th, basically, this is a joint venture between these two teams. So, a lot of like low prem uh, experience there, except Crayon, who played on low pen and I think placed third in season 27. Yep, all around the ragtag of players quite uh, experienced on the game. Let's talk a bit about the map. So, we are going to start with uh, CP Gulliwash, then we'll go on to CP Sunshine, and if things should go to a third map, CP Snakewater will be our decider tonight. Yeah, I mean, Gulliwash, both teams actually played Gulliwash last night. Both teams lost the map. Um, like I mentioned earlier, 1-0 um, to the Germans against Danger Dogs and 3-0 um, Swamp against the bus crew. So um, definitely maybe uh, in their heads, but you know, it's an established map, everyone knows how it plays. I'm excited to see in the mid fights because uh, I checked logs and both teams I ran, I think ran a lot of sniper over 10 minutes out of these 30 minutes gameplay. Oh so uh, we definitely look out for these headshots. Yep, I hope we won't look out for them for too long though. <laughs> Gullivash can be really stable here. Um, I mean, last night the the match between Danger Dogs and the Germans wasn't maybe the most uh, the exciting uh, game to watch, but um, you know, definitely tense and I'm looking for, I hope we're gonna have a, a close match tonight. Yep, I, I surely hope to. I think our stream believes that the dogs should take it. According yeah. to the vote, it's quite close actually, it's around 60% for the dogs. And 40% for 40% for for the swamp. So yeah, slight uh, slight preference for for the dogs. It's to be understand. Uh, it's to be under um, expected, given the experience as you mentioned uh, of their players. 
Yeah, I actually talked to some of the other uh, preseason playoff teams, qualifier teams, and they said Danger Dogs may even be the worst of the upper bracket teams. So I'm not sure. I was I was going with Danger Dogs too because I do love to spam Frank Z in chat. But um, I'm I, I would be I wouldn't be surprised if it uh, Super Swamp would put up a good fight as we actually have the ready up sound here, Twiggy. We're going live now. Yep, indeed we won't have to wait for long before knowing it, it's season 29 qualifiers. The winner goes straight to Prem, the loser has one more chance uh, in the in the soon future. It's going to be the first mid. The, um, the Swamp team is in blue, we have Domo running out on his choke uh, matched by Smear. Someone is in the drop down actually, it's Ped who is waiting to make a play. Uh, the, he has not been spotted instead. It's the it's the red Romeo who makes a play first. Now Pred goes in and manages to find two frags on the on the demo man and the medic. Pretty chilled mid by the by the swamp there, man. Yeah, it was a defensive mid of both it was because both Romos actually went for the uh, drop down and it, both teams kind of waited for the effective uh, Romo to go up and make a play. Pred did this better though. Uh, actually, a full wipe here for uh, for Danger Dogs and they find themselves on last themselves on last. Which they have spent most of yesterday's match on Goody Wash 2, so um, they are good at defending this. Uh, I'm quite curious how the Swamp chooses to push with full uber advantage. Yep, uh, the, they are using the, the 7 tactic with two players in water, a roaming soldier and the demo man. And they also have a sentry gun on a pyro. I have never seen this sentry spot used in conjunction with the pyro. So far, it's quite effective. It has needed like five stickies to be to to get rid of the sentry gun. No point presence yet. Only one frag conceded by the by the danger dog, dog squad. The point is still well locked. What is going? Uh, what what is the swamp going to do? They are getting the frag onto nation on time. No more soldiers. Only smear can put some explosive damage on the blue team. And the swamp are get, are really cold today. Today they don't rush things, and they manage to score the first run out of uh, a proper and calm play. I thought it was a weirdly slow push given basically Danger Dogs was locked in spawn, but yeah, I guess they had enough time. Morrow wasn't anywhere near Uber, actually got an Uber saw and then dropped immediately, but uh, just killing them one by one, taking their time, and it's one up to this one really early here, Twiggy. Yep, let's see if the, if the roaming soldiers opt to, do, opt to go for the same strategy. I'm actually watching Pred who is posturing on the drop down, but fakes it for the, for the moment, he still opts to go in. Tom gets the frag onto Domo, so that's a big game changer. Pred now makes his play, but misses the air shot on tomorrow. But Moro is quite weak, and this is nice adaptation from the dogs. Really good adaptation here. Uh, Pred went for the drop down strat again, but since this is a slower kind of mid, um, they lost pre uh, presence on the point here, and he was stuck underneath. Tried to get go for a medic play there, but did not quite get the job done. Degu, however, did survive and will have Ubit to defend last, so we may be in for our first damage here as Gink is already on Engineer and Crayon is whipping out the Pyro class. The bus is getting parked, we are only 3 minutes in and the big guns are out. So let's see if the dogs manage to find out or if they choose to Uber. There's, this, there's a cheeky sticky trap on the locker area, so this could, this could matter if it's not checked, but the dogs are looking to take their time. Kermit the is making nation a play is on point now. Actually, Nation is in as well. So what they tried to do there was Kermit uh, was trying to draw the attention onto the pond where Nation made a play on the medic, but both did get denied. I'm not sure if Nation knew that was a sentry gun up, but um, the Swarm is making their way out now here into this lobby area. Let's see if they decide to actually push out. They're actually pushing out with the pyro and they keep, they keep the sentry gun on last, so they are quite safe. But Degu gets forced in a quite a, in in a very bad spot, and Crayon cannot do anything with his power drag to reach the the enemy medic. So that's a fail for the swamp. Unfortunately for them, they still have the gun behind the point, but they are going to face the onslaught of the dog. Yeah, um, let's see if they can actually push this last year with three bit advantage. Now Smiller seems to decide for the shadow store, taking the scouts grab in. Getting early damage onto Illin, but not quite finishing off. Now he falls. The pirate actually detecting a ton of uh, spam here on the point uh, on the spawn. The medic does go down though. Only two up she gun is on the point. And now the demo man has been cleaned up. It's not only a matter of time. Yep, uh, and uh, cool, cool, cool push by the dogs. As you said, they, they really take their time. So we have tonight two teams that, of course, it's a match with very high stakes. 
a place in Prem and Bubble is to be streamed even more during the season. And yeah, so far two rounds in in five minutes, that's pretty much faster than the games yesterday. Yeah, it is. Um, let's see how they approach the third mid here. Smir goes for the choke rollout, actually so does Derma. What do you see here, Twiggy? I see Pred faking the drop down again. We, we still don't know what he's going to do. Nation, however, makes the drop down play and manages to trap yeah, Gink in the banana but gets cleaned by the whole team while the, the rest of the Danger Dogs team does not follow. But nice rockets by Tom destroying Elen right there and the frogs are going the way of the dogs. Are they actually? Three down? Yeah, they three do down lose Morrow here to play from uh, Tom. Well, from from um, Pred, I believe. And they do get the med uh, the mid, but the medic didn't survive, so expect a quick repush here from Deku and friends. Yep, but um, all is not lost. The dogs manages uh, manage to get a grip of the mid, and they even have a quite a, quite the position on second. So they should defend if, this. Uh, though. Yeah, yeah. The, the swamp is indeed defending it, and because no heals, that means nobody could make a play to to try to force uh, to force Deku. So. Good retake by the um, by the swamp team, and they are making the push to mid with uh, from the drop down, and they are not getting forced at all. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, they are stuck on the low ground here now. Uh, they're gonna jump up here. Tom actually got fragged late, and that's uh, second repush, so he wasn't there to defend. And uh, the danger dogs wisely decide to back up here and enter the second point. Maro is close to Uber, so they will have um, this up for defending this one and. Uh, the swamp is deciding to peek into big doors. Yep, but there's actually nobody here. But Nation, if, if the door gets open and he has like three players in front of him, he might get slammed. But no, in, instead he slams Gink, who runs into Lobby. So we, we, will we see a counter sack? I don't know if anyone is in position to, to do so. It doesn't look like it. Oh, Nation is oh. making his way into big doors now. He has no buff though, so he wisely decides to retreat after gathering some information. It's quite tough to it's quite tough to jump the mat from uh, from big door without the buff. Uh, since so. that is true. Uh, now the heals are actually in big doors, and the swamp is going the for the same push the again into big doors. There's like three stickies right above Domo, and Domo uh, Domo slammed by Smear right there. So that's quite quite a big pick, and they managed to trap Eden. So only one soldier left to hold two choke points is not going to cut it for for the swamp. Are yeah, they, there's are the three dogs players pushing? for the swamp on mid now? Eard King is stuck in behind and they know that, so I'm not sure how effective this play will be. And Storm actually goes with, does uh, do the jump from drop down now and forces Degu out in the choke area. Okay. That's not so that's not so bad. I think the dogs may 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 have played this differently if they if they wanted, but they are not in in it to take too much risks. And now the focus of their team is to clean Gink who is uh, giving them the jukes in the lobby. They put uh, they, they are going to put Tom probably in order to Oh no, not in order to kill Gink, in order to get slammed by Gink. A bit of a mistake by the by the dogs not to put two players to get to get rid of that scout. But Nation shows up. Problem solved. Yeah, Gink is clean up here in the background. They do lose Tom, but he has a faster respawn than Gink and they are uh very fast where this Uber Degu is and uh Danger Dogs should push in ASAP right yeah. now or else there will be a blue Uber to defend mid. Yeah, that's the big problem of this player um, getting Tom and uh, getting ri rid of Gink in way too much time uh, killed the Uber advantage for the for for the dogs. And now Gink is go is going to go spy because he knows the Ubers are equal. Yeah, Gink seems to be the playmaker here. He first he sneaks back uh, uh, in the back of Danger Dogs, and now he's on spy in Big Dogs. I have not seen this very often here in the, in a, to break the mid stay mate but I like it, it's, it's entertaining and King actually might get a play here onto Smear if he doesn't actually think and expect uh, expects that's gonna be a spy here in this game I bumps into him though Ah, uh, now he knows Now he's spotted for sure Now he knows <laughs> He's juking though, he's so close to dying He should have been dead by now <laughs> He actually hides on top of the big door shutter to be honest, like the, the the swamp team could could make a play out of the the massive distraction provided by Ging. They attempt to do so, but quite late, and Eden gets slammed by it. Good positioning by by Kermit and Scrub. Scrub on the high ground of Choke. Very good position for scouts to to kill the soldiers that are jumping straight at them. So 
use the distraction Gink provides and no. for a play, but he did die, I think. Yeah, I think the communication was uh, was a bit off. Uh, it can it can be understood. It's not e an easy play to make. Now it's Nation who gets a bit impatient and tries to tries to kill Crayon but misses. So it's a six on five for the swamp, and Elon maybe has another chance to to bomb in or to take the charge in. He tries to get rid of Scrap but can't, and tries to bomb the med and gets slammed. So yeah. I don't yeah, think it's the good approach. It's the good option for them to attempt a, a soldier play from choke I like that. Yeah, I mean, as soon as Nation uh, went down there on this on his sack, um, Danger Dogs did go a little bit defensively on the second point, and that makes it really hard for a soldier to go for a play. Yes, Mirror actually calls for at least a push, a pick, and Tom goes for a play here onto Degu again, but he does beef. So they're gonna just try here and. Uh, counter sack each other most of the times as Lou decides to just go in here and commit to the second point now Twiggy. Yeah, good read by Blue. They, they noticed that the pocket went for the sack and Nation was on uh, was on big door so that meant the choke wa was a bit free, a bit more free. And uh, as a result the Ubers are traded, Kami dies and the, uh, the fourth control point is capped by Swamp and now even more possibilities are offered to, offer to Swamp regarding plays and off classes and stuff like that. Yeah, both Ubers are gonna be equal here as they were trading on the second point. Uh, and actually, Inan goes for a play right away here. Uh, Yet King dies Too as well, bad. not sure. Oh, uh, Meryl goes down to a roller from Domo. Nicely played there using the distraction. And now you see Swamp uh, backing out of second, trying to keep Daegu safe until he has the 100% and then go for the kill here. Yep, uh, unfortunately, Daegu is still, he's only at uh, 60%, so. The sentry gun from Scrub is going to be fully operational, but the same setup was used uh, in the first push of the of the game, and it wasn't successful for the for the dogs. So we are hoping that they can adapt uh, they can adapt a bit their hold if they don't want to have to be a run down in less than a minute. The, Uber, the blue Uber chart is popped. Crayon is trying to make a play for the point, but struggles fighting the stick. He manages to bait Smear. Finally, Smear goes down. But Domo goes down as well, it's a 5 on 5 situation, there's a pyro on the field for, for red. The setup looks... looked much better for the dogs. Excuse me. <laughs> I thought I thought they could hold this. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm still trying to figure out what this last hold is. They seem to be... they seem to have like two people in water and the other ones in and around spawn. So they do give up a lot of ground here. It almost... Uh, pay dividends though as they did get one or two frags but in yeah. the end uh, the uber was just too much and the health was the health I think it was could, too much to overcome i think it could have worked but they dropped two, th three players on the low ground on the point and the swamp realized it and now it's it's the next mid fight on the swamp are up 2-1 there's 17 minutes left a nation is in the drop down and manages to find a 2k good play by the chat the chat roma and Degu goes down nation is the only casualty for the for the dogs, and we and have that's a full it. wipe for Swamp. Yeah, Nation opened this uh, fight with two frags onto the uh, big door uh, of the, on the choke area here from the drop down, and then uh, the demo went down quite instantly as well. So this mid fight was lost, and at that point, um, Danger Dogs uh, Swamp just tried to get a kill Moro but did not manage to do so. So full advantage now to the Danger Dogs again. This is uh, quite the entertaining game here. They are going fast. Scout demo, uh, scout demo about the sentry is not level 3 yet, but yeah, it goes down finally by Smear. That's the only casualty though, no cap time, uh, no cap time whatsoever. Pred goes down, so there's an opportunity for the for the dogs to go in and to drive, but they have to deal with the heavy weapons guy. He doesn't get arrows though, and now it's a 4 on 4 situ situation. I think the dogs are going to, to still make the play, and they managed to find Degu. That's a lifesaver by Nation. Can Moro escape? Yes, she's perfectly fine. Out yeah, to their spawn, going to meet Tom and Scrap. Moro is way out, but also she didn't heal for quite a while, so... Um, they don't have six, six players yet, so they will sec give up second point. Expect a Reaper soon though, as they're already making their way into big doors here. Yep, the, Tom takes his time, he knows he, can, he has a lot of time to work with. They wisely delayed the push, waited for as many spawners as possible, and now they retake the fourth control point. They still have a hefty, a hefty 50% advantage, so it's pretty. It's a pretty good 
margin to work with. Let's see if they opt to go for the for the shot of play once more. Looks like it. Scout demo with a charge. No stickies on the door. But they can't focus. The, they can't focus the heavy. They, they only get the level one sentry, and there is no cap time. Domo has the point sticked and manages to manages to destroy Scrap. The hold is much better for Swamp this time. It is much better. It is gonna work out again here, as Morrow is the only one up, <laughs> finding herself on mid once again. Um, the Danger Dogs just fail to get initial damage in on, on classes and on players that matter. They uh, do not kill the sentry fast enough, they could not kill off the heavy here and he just ran into, back into but, full health. But they managed to find Degu in the midst of all this, so... No, now Moro has a, sli has a slight advantage, but most importantly, the Danger Dogs team uh, retains control of middle. The Danger Dogs take control of middle. They do have not that much of an advantage though, because once again, uh, there weren't any players up for Moro to heal, so they're gonna be quite equal in item. I'm not sure if this may be a bad situation for the Danger Dogs. If they think they have a bigger advantage, they might get caught out here or extended. And Gink, the blue sniper, has been spotted by Nation, so no surprise effect on this one. However, it's quite difficult to push from uh, to push against the sniper. Do you think the dogs are going to make the play on that small of an advantage? Uh, I don't think so. No. Um, if maybe if they get the sniper somehow or a player from uh, the swamp, that will definitely. Uh, prompt the push because you basically are 4v5 or 4.5v5 at that point but it forces you to play pretty defensively now nation gets caught out kermit actually goes down as well to domo uh, and now the swamp is making the way in here it through the big door area give, uh, making giving the sniper a lot of space actually and danger dogs are caught up in their own show get forced here very easily Ooh, that's a pretty bad evil chat for the for the dogs. Indeed, they had to go quite far in order to get the force. I know Tom and Scrub are going to are going to die. Moro escapes once again, but the point is lost. And with three casualties, including Smear, I don't think the dogs will be able to hold the the fourth control point and will have to just stay on last and deal with the sniper. Yeah, I mean, Handily enough, Gink is already on the sniper, so he doesn't have to psych in, in order to off class or something. He's trying to peek at the lobby right now, but no one's home because everybody's on last and turtling in here. But you know, Swamp has all the time in the world. They're 2 1 up, they don't have to rush anything. They can exactly. just do whatever they want. And at some point, Danger Dogs has to push out here. Even if they just run the clock down, God forbid, um, it will only be two and a half minutes left. So um, either way, uh, the Swamp will be really methodical here. Yeah, but the, the Danger Dogs find themselves in an interesting situation. They get the demo pick, yes, but Evers are equal and they still have to deal with Gink, who is very far away. They are going to make the play from top. They know Gink is on choke and can't actually land the shot onto, onto Moro from where, he, where he's at. And Tom goes for the double jump, manages to force Degu. Pretty good so far and fully bad advantage for, for Moro now. That was so big, actually cashing in onto the demo pick here. The, uh, the force is, you know, you, you kind of want to either kill the medic or force the medic here. And now that you have 100%, it is still quite uh, hard to push out here. Uh, the swamp is actually in big doors, and now if they push in, which they do, they could get a lot of frags. Your nation falls really early to Gink, though. Illin actually drops Kermit on the spot. This is disastrous. And there's a back tap going on as well. Pretty big beef by the by the red Uber chart there, taking five years in order to ca to to kill a scout, and they are paying the price for it. Come on, man! Come on, guys! If you want to play prem, you have to be less sloppy than this. Once again, Daniel Ducks do not find the frags. Seems to be a common theme here in the early stages of tonight, and uh, the swamp cashes in here in three one in the lead now, and. From this point on, the time uh, may be a factor here as we go onto our fourth, fifth mid on the night. Yep. The, um, we have some varia some variation. Domo is on his choke. Smear is on the ground actually, so it looks like the danger dogs are going to make the play for the for the enemy choke. But they get counter jumped by uh, by a perfect synchronization between Pred and Yellen. The bomb gets four frags in total, uh, in conjunction with the scouts, of course. Five frags actually. And Moro once again escapes. 
great job by the Swarm cleaning up Nation and because he fell relatively early the bomb from Tom who orders a little bit late could have uh, could be defended uh, effectively because there was no distraction anymore so they could just gun him down and from that point on it was uh, basically lost for Danger Dogs and they find themselves on last once again 1-3 down building a sentry gun and running a pyro uh, and I'm not sure if turtling here will help them but do you think that Actually, Morrow survived, so never mind. I was gonna ask do you, uh, if you think they're gonna push in here, but they're probably not gonna. They're gonna go for a slow approach. Yeah, they, they, they might even go for the no push at all, but I think they feel in control, so they could do they could do the play they did previously with one soldier going in and uh, the pipe spam at the same time, which has which, which has been successful. So who knows? But. Uh, you are right, it's a very tough situation for dogs and they will have to bring their A game from now on if they want to come back. Gink makes a, makes a play, I believe it's a sack and let's see what he opts to go for, probably sniper. It's the standard, the standard way to, to keep, to keep the, the control of the fourth control point and to piss the, the dogs off. Think about yeah. it, you have 10 minutes to piss them off before the second map. <laughs> yeah, but it's crap actually uh, switched off engineer here it looks like they were thinking about peeking into second but they were a bit too late and gink is on the spy side. the french uh, espionage play coming in <laughs> narrowly misses narrowly uh, escapes a, a flare gun shot thrown randomly at main and now <laughs> we are in for the for the fun parts he has the cloak and dagger probably eating an ice cream at home He's just going to wait for the dogs to make the critical mistake. These guys are being watched. Yeah, because uh, the danger dogs have to be proactive here, trying to find a pick, catch someone out. Uh, they're actually holding a lot forward, which is good for a spy. But actually, maybe he's on last. The top lobby now. And he's on last. He's gonna declock on the point here. He's gonna back up it. He's gonna get it too. There's nobody home. The gimmicks That's... are real. The EU gimmicks. That's a pretty naive play if I have seen one. I think the dogs are going to tilt for the for the rest of this map though. Ah, that's so unfortunate. I mean, ah, they, had to, they had to expect something was up after after the gink sack though. And they exactly. didn't bother to check. Ah, too bad. Let's go for let's go for another mid. As technically eight minutes for four rounds is still doable if they if they um, they go for the perfect game. But the mid is quite slow once again, and Tom is the first ca casualty slammed by Eden. Eden is no. Where is Eden? Is he behind? No, he's not behind. Never mind. It's a 5 on 4 situation, favoring the swamp. The swamp are once again calm and collected, just blobbing around their medic and their demo man and just raining down spam, hitting arrows, getting buffs. One more frag goes for the. One more frag goes for them, and they're not, they not even going to chase the, the dogs combo. They allow them to escape. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason for them to, to take that risk right here. It wasn't gonna be a high percentage play, so why do it? You're 4-1 four up, four one up. Exactly. Uh, yeah. You know, this map is as good as done as Tom actually goes for a play from drop down, and he does not even trade with the enemy Roma, so that was kind of a fail there. And uh, I mean, I'm curious yeah. to see if uh, Swamp are gonna be aggressive off of this, but it doesn't look like a gink just is on sniper aiming to big doors from his own choke, so uh, there's no movement forward. I think the Swamp realizes that the Angel Dogs team has very few tactical options. Like they have the most standard tactical options, who are the like the sack plays, you know. But outside of it, they lack the the kind of randomness that Gink provides, or that like a player like Stark would would provide. And as such, must must, uh, must rely on uh, on Tom bombs. And now because they run out of time, they go for the Uber trade with one scout. They manage to trade with us, but Tom walks in at the at the worst moment gets destroyed and then casually destroys uh, Scrab uh, afterwards. I know with two men down. And three men down, goes sorry. down to a headshot from Gink here, finally cashing in on those headshots. The demo man surely is gonna get caught out here as well. Kermit is really weak, he can't do anything. Nation gets cleaned up, trying to make a play on the medic. Uh, there's actually not a lot of people up there. They do have two spawns now and the swarm is already pushing into last. They do see the heavy back out immediately though. Yep, uh, that's kind of the, the GG zone right there, what do you think? 
Yeah, this map is, is, is done now. It's, it's gonna be garbage time and uh, maybe Danger Dogs are gonna try to get it some rhythm here as they're just trying to get uh, there we take go. a DM fight here and it, it works out. Sometimes you just have to press W and frag Ooh, the, the gamers. Pipes. It's a full wipe. It's the best move we have seen from Danger Dogs. Just pass that in and kill everybody that moves. Maybe they just uh, needed some like 25 more minutes to, to warm up and now they're going to roll on two dogs, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe. On to Swamp, I mean. They sh I would have liked to see uh, a couple of players going forward there to deny the forward spawns. As there is a sniper forward spawn now, which can be really powerful, but Gink uh, already back spawns. There's no play happening there. And they will be fast enough to actually get this full Uber advantage onto last tier. And uh, this is what I was talking about. Try to get some rhythm, try to get a round or two under your bolt, and gain some confidence for the second map. Exactly. Uh... 60% uh, uh, Uber advantage remaining, the push is going to come from Riverside, they, they're up to Uber, Tom and the scout instead of Smear this time, they slam the sentry gun, they go for the heavy weapons gun but it's protected by the pyro, wrong call by the uh, wrong call there, the pyro is still full life, <laughs> finally gets down, and now the dogs, uh, the, dog, the dogs come back out, like why back off anyway, they are, as you said, 3 rounds down and they get slammed instead, yeah, that on was the good, on there Go was ahead. a big fat Russian just waiting for them there and uh, they tried, failed once again to kill him effectively. Uh, it dishes so, out so much damage with the Thomas Love on the last point over time that you know you have to kind of nuke him down, otherwise he will uh, slowly chip away damage on you and uh, that's what happened there again. Danger Dogs are not taking their time on these approaches on the last push, you know, they, they could have scouted, do they have an engineer, do they have a pyro, where are they holding? They had 70% Uber advantage, there was no need to rush this, and they just go in blindly once uh, again and beef the push. I, I like the option to, to go blindly, but I think that the hold the Swamp uses with the Demo 1 on water and the, re and the rest of the players on high ground poses an interesting choice to make for the for the attacking team. Do they go for the Demo Man and unlock the point and leave the other five five players alive? Or do they try to get the kills on the heavy, the pyro, the medic and so on and leave the demo man for the, for the end, you know? And dogs unfortunately took the wrong approach and now we have an Uber trade onto the onto the, the, the second choke point. The Uber charge is actually quite uh, uh, is actually slightly better for Swamp, but a good repush by the by the dogs uh, alongside a good pressure play by <laughs> by Tom and an Uber so from Moro uh, means that uh, means that with Nation still has a chance to go huge, get four kills, and manage and, and save his team. But no, he doesn't go huge this time. He saves his uh, his shots for the for the next map probably. Yeah, it looked like the Dogs had the second point in the back, but uh, they ch chased into lobby. They sacked two players into the remaining three uh, gamers of the swamp, and that. Uh, led to them actually losing the point. I mean, the push was good initially, they just kind of went in uber v uber and it uh, was gonna work out, but they overextended and they get punished for it. Ooh, nation! Nice, he gets the force. <laughs> but at the same time, two players go down as they try to push from truck. Too bad, Bunger dogs are 3 down once again, maybe 4 down, a nice arrow by Mauro saving Sneal right there, but she can't, she can't hit him the second time. Yeah. And yeah, everyone dies from, from dogs basically. Even when things go right for dogs, they go wrong. I mean, there was a nice force from Tom, but then they just lose three players for no reason whatsoever. And uh, this is uh, what happened a couple of times here on Gully Watch on this first map, as the last two minutes are drip, tripling, trickling down. And uh, I think this bomb kind of lost focus here too, because they just went into last there with no, yeah. no plan whatsoever. It's fine though, uh, both teams ha are having fun. It's a game after all, you know? There's, it's not like there is a huge deal of money to, to earn. But actually I heard that the prize pool for, for this season was quite nice. Yeah, you know, uh, we didn't have a quite, uh, prize pool for quite some seasons now. Now uh, just giving a little bit back to the community and uh, it's not much, but you know, definitely something to compete yeah. for. 300 euros for the first. 120 for the second and nothing for <laughs> everyone else. Yeah, Screw <laughs> you have you to guys. be the best in order to get money. Actually, yep. <laughs> they, they do run a heavy here out of the second point, and a pyro's. They're just gonna have fun here for the last 57 seconds. And first map goes to the, the swamp. 
Yep. One Maybe the logs are already online. I'm going to I'm going to check if the logs are already online. Of course, we are casting from the from the source TV. So we are 90 seconds in the past. So the game is actually already over in our players' homes. Yeah, the logs are uh, already. Just... I, I'm sure Jem will put them up in a second here for for our stream viewers, as maybe just uh, we have a lot of the last cap here. They're gonna push into the last point. Fifteen but seconds, 10 seconds to go. To the red it. Uber is popped. It's definitely doable, but it won't happen. It's four oh, one the pyro. to the swamp. No, the pyro makes uh, the pyro makes Tom sad. On the last on the last statum to push <laughs> too bad. We're going to go for CP Sunshine in quite a bit, but not before. We discuss a bit what we just saw, Stinson. And actually Did let's, you like let's do have a locked uh, look at the locks here because they are on screen uh, in stream right now. And we see uh, a lot of blue players obviously on top of the damage charts here, Pred uh, Ilan and Domo with the most damage for the Swamp. Um, all projector classes hitting stuff uh, really nicely here. And uh, yeah, there's just not enough output. It's spread with 23 and 10, actually, it's, which is outstanding for a roaming soldier. Uh, it's 2.4 KAD. And uh, yeah, uh, Degu just died seven times here on the first map as well, doing a nice job at uh, dodging damage and keeping himself alive. Yeah, it's interesting the way that the the, the dogs played the played the, the the few stalemates we have. I think they made quite a few key mistakes, like that that, that spy back up by Gink, or that drop of Moro from the from the pipes, holding the last. But yeah, the actually the the mid fights were quite even. The drop down play were equally as effective uh, for for both teams. Three mid one by the Reds, three mid one by the Blue. Uh, yeah. So yeah, and, Mo and Moro managed to escape quite uh, quite a lot of the time. Maybe sometimes, as you as you mentioned, he escapes too early. Yeah, I mean, if your team doesn't give you a choice, really, though, that's that's the head of heads up play to do. I wouldn't blame you for doing that on mid fights because often enough, uh, if you don't get your med out of mid fights, then you're already kind of lost last. Um, in some pushes, though, off Uber pushes, she was a bit defensive, but I wouldn't blame her for that. Um, I mean, it, it's hard when you when you're kind of losing already, and um, indeed it is. Yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't say, it, but uh, what I wanted to point out is actually I did point out Pred with 23 and 10, and then we have uh, the enemy roamer Nation with 9 and 20. So his output actually does have to get up here and has to uh, increase on the second map sunshine or well, else um i don't see how uh danger dogs will get the victory here and force a third map yeah something has to change in the way that uh the dogs opt to opt to play tactically because it looked like the swamp were quite comfortable just either going for the gink random spy or sniper plays either going for much better much better soldier sacks than than the dogs so the dogs really have to bring out something else in in their game other than like the the nation solo sacks or the tom bombs from from the choke i don't know maybe rely more on uh, maybe rely more on on their scouts or as the playmaker or running snipers themselves i don't no, know I mean... but what i do know is that the the, the mid on this map is very is vastly different to CP yeah, the mid is very open, um, a lot of room to jump on and around, and um, it's kind of hard actually um, for the scouts to actually have a big impact in my opinion, but I, I'm, I'm in the scrub, so not sure if that opinion even counts, but um, it's going to come down to the soldiers here, try, uh, try to cover ground, and for the demo, trying to deny ground. The demo, uh, who is first on the, on the mid fight here, is so... Uh, much in an advantage point where he can just stick you off and um, deny you even uh, the entry of, into this mid here. Yeah, if he's, if he's very quick and the other team roll out choke, yeah, the mid fight can can be extremely, extremely quick, ex extremely quickly resolved. So 
Let's see. Let's see what happens. I think that the demo men of the of the two team were quite evenly matched. If I do take another look at the at the logs from the last game, both died 12 times and had roughly the same damage output. The difference being that Smith took a lot more a lot more damage and possibly a lot more heals. I need to check. Again. Yeah, it took a bit a bit more heals, but that's not too bad. So yeah, pretty even match on the demo man. I think the soldiers are going to be the are going to be the key for for the injured dogs on this map. Yeah, I think as you, as you said, uh, danger dogs are easy to uh, to read, right? Because they they don't they just do the standard thing basically. They do what everybody does and uh, gink off classing. Uh, if it works, it's nice and all, and it's entertaining and it actually can tilt your opponent. It keeps the snowball rolling. But uh, if gink gink's production does go down or if uh, the swamp actually um, start to lose rounds, it can also tilt your own team. So. You know, if Danger Ducks can get a foot in the door, um, it might work against them, uh, against the Swamp, that Gink is just basically doing whatever he wants. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> At least tactically, as you say, it's uh, it's another opportunity. So, yeah. I think we're going happens. live shortly here, as uh, our man, Jem, whispered something into our ear, so it will be only 30, 40 more seconds uh, until our very first mid fight uh, on CP Sunshine second map into ETF2L season 29 Prem qualifiers. We have the Swamp once again in blue. We have the Danger Dogs in red. Swamp one up in maps. They did win 5-1 just now on Gully Wash and we are off to our first map on CP Sunshine Twiggy. Yep, Smear opts to go for the choke rollout. He's extremely fast but he's also quite low on Domogos for the for the flank rollout. He's full and on the same position. So Smear has to ask for an earlier row there. Good positioning early on on, the, on their right hand side from the from the blues team. And yeah, like the dogs are just rotating around the rotating around the swamp, but they bait Domo. Domo go Domo goes down but a pipe from Domo kills <laughs> Moro just before. I don't know what the dogs were so afraid of early on, but they just let the let the swamp walk in, walk in on no, their it's truck. Really left here. Uh, they almost got the frag on the Dago there. He was down to like a third HP, but first map goes to swamp. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, in the end, we do have two scouts uh, for blue team okay. and the medic happening. Yeah. I was bamboozled a bit by, because I was looking at Degu's medigan from the free cam and I saw the, the festive the festive things on it and thought, okay, it's just a festive medigan, but it's actually not. It's a festive crit, man. Oh, we're running crits. We're expensive. terrible casters. We didn't even notice there's yeah, a crit we can play. <laughs> actually, quite the curious choice here. Pushing into the sunshine last, possibly, with crit streak. And I don't think <laughs> Danger Ducks are ready for this at all. It's Who goes crit on the first mid? It's a tactical genius move. The the, the last push of the last uh, point of sunshine is very difficult to push. So you run crits, you fail the push, and you bait the other team to push out. They fail it, and you can. <laughs> Speaking of failing, but I think this push just got botched here. Okay, they just failed the push completely. Yeah, the crits doesn't find enough. Only taking out scrap in the beginning. The sentry gun denying the rest of the players because they're not ubu. They cannot just run into the sentry gun. And uh, yeah, after the crits was done. There was just a lot of vulnerable players uh, left and uh, a full wipe here for the swamp and a retake from Danger Dogs onto the second point and now they're looking at getting into mid already. Ginky sniping though. Can he have a can he has can he have a line of sight on tomorrow? Yes, he had one opportunity but now has to back off. Oh he has one other He just hits the body shot though. Too bad. No luck yeah. for Ging. And the dogs are going to take two points out of that. <laughs> that I don't think really Diggle is going to run uh, to run crits uh, for a few minutes, uh, no. No, they hit on, on the golden medigan here, uh, but that was really dangerous for Murrow. Actually, the sniper trying to get an anti frag, but they have to hold so defensively with a disadvantage and the sniper, and they totally give up second point already. They had 75%. Let's see if they can get the Uber here before Danger Dogs make the move. Yeah, probably. Um, Danger Dogs are taking their time, and to be honest, they, they can be proud of themselves. They got three points. Uh, out of one uber advantage, it's it's a lot actually. Yep. Just standard is to get like one, maybe two if you're if you're careful. But yeah, three three is pretty good. Now they have to deal with a pyro with a sentry gun. And uh, where is the sticky trap? Actually, Domo doesn't have a, a trap set up right uh, right now. 
Is he using loose cannon? No, I don't think so. He's just sticking lobby and spamming regular ops. Equally but Yeah, very, very tough net to crack this push. Nation and nation attempts it and Smear peeks uh peeks in front of Domo at the same time, so <laughs> losing two players, including the demo man, is very bad. Once again only Tom is going to be able to, to stand up and fight against the is the combo and they have to uber in a pretty bad spot like if they, if they choose to uber to uber to block second they should do it closer to the choke points no tom is going on the back line in order to draw a bit of a distraction and they manage to they manage to surround the the swamp team quite well and they don't go for last actually they just block the exit path for the go and the play works out in the end nice play it, it does work out because get forced Rather late, they trade the Uber and then the response came in and they caught the spawn overextending into them. Uh, hey. So, what, what uh, started as a mistake from Spirit getting ca caught out while peeking during the sack actually works in their favor in the end and they do draw first blood once again. But as we know, it doesn't have to mean much because they did the same thing at Goldie Wash. I don't know if it was a, um, a play made completely on purpose or not, but either way, it was, it was quite brilliant. We can, let's, let's see if they call can it be brilliant. brilliant again. Yeah, 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 it's better. Let's be, let's see the glass, uh, the half full glass of wine, just, just, uh, just here. Smear once again asks for an arrow, and this time he, he, he controls Degu, but gets slammed. The, the, his team is quite uh, late on the follow up, but the follow up comes eventually. Nation hits a big rocket onto Degu. Four players down for, five players down for the, for the swamp. Five players down too far, <laughs> for the dogs. It's Nation against Gink, it's Sunshine MG, on the but... Point here. It's sort of Spire MG, Scarlet vs. Romer, and Daddy Ooh. Nation actually gets it done here. <laughs> Everybody has to back off. And we may see just round two of the second point, as Mirror already respawned, and... Uh, but I don't think uh, that this one actually is gonna contest this, so... Yeah, mid-fight goes to... Um, the Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> roof, roof. Yeah. Good adaptation by, by Smear right there, even if he dies very early. I, he, he blocked the, the attempts from uh, from the swamp to to wrap around the, the danger dog team and bought he, he steamed the, the mid actually. And now there is quite a lot of options to break these stalemates uh, with interesting jumps from the flank area. And it looks like both soldiers from the, from the dogs are posturing themselves close. Do they actually know they have a 25% advantage? I think they built quite well, but it doesn't look like the trend uh, anymore to push on these advantages. No, I don't, I don't well. blame. I don't blame them though. I wouldn't have noticed either, really, because it seemed like the medics went down at the same time, and you can't really push off of the suspicion, uh, suspicion that uh, the enemy team doesn't really build Uber as effectively. So uh, it's okay actually, they don't have to take the risk, once again they're one up here. Uh, you don't have to park the bus, or you shouldn't park the bus, but you don't have to go for high risk plays if you don't have to. Yeah, the game um, is quite figured out this day and <coughs> it is indeed the, the safest play to make. But maybe they go for a sack play or maybe they go for a sniper, who knows. Maybe they just try to bait, uh, to bait uh, the swamp to do something. Uh, let's see if maybe Gink gets impatient and off classes or something. Yeah, we haven't seen on. much of the of the swamp when they were uh, when they are not in the in the driving seat actually. So they do go for the oh, double nation. soldier bomb here on the, on the flower area, and they do beef though because Pratt gets picked up. Nice counter jump, I guess, by uh, Tom, um, denying the uh, the advance of Smear, the soldier. Smear goes in for a big bomb, but doesn't. Find the damage, the medic is up as well here, so uh, they're just trading sacks. Actually, quite unusual for the demo band to second. Uh, the swamp has uh, opportunity to peek into mid for free. It still works, it's not free at all. Look at how much damage Tom is dealing on this choke point. He, for a second, he thought about going in and maybe taking the uber charge, but it, it, it's uh, it's a quite, uh, quite a dangerous play. And the swamp realizes they can't push from this choke point because of the good positioning by Tom, and they are forced to go back, so. They can't punish the de they can't punish the demo sack right there. Will Smear do it again? Oh, maybe, maybe. Um, you know, it is easier for the demo man to strafe into there, I guess. Um, and you know, he can do it from a hidden place, kind of like he just kind of jumps around the corner and you don't see him coming that much, like you would see a soldier. 
But I, I have my money on Eertgink to do something here, actually. As I say that, oh. I notice he is on Spy, making his way through the flank. But Tom is, uh, has to be aware, and Dangerdogs have to be aware that this might be a possibility, because they have been back kept by Spies again, uh, already this this evening, and now <laughs> Eertgink decloaks as Nation actually goes for the bomb here. So he, he goes out empty, and he's on the mid point now, on the Tetris of red team he has the medic in his side he's very patient hiding in the bush and now dogs move forward but he backs off i think he's calling for his team to like maybe pick the choke point in order to do a bit of spam before he goes for anything and they still have a lot of time to work with 20 minutes left on this map six minutes 30 seconds left before the round reset i hope we don't reach that <gasps> of course but is he spotted <laughs> No, oh, we, have the nation, sniper, we have Nation on Sniper and they were just standing next to each other for 10 seconds on the same spot. Uh, but, you know, King is actually goes for a drop here there on the medic go. and it works <laughs> out in the end. The patient play. Uh, uh, that is heartbreaking for the injured Dirks right now. And uh, now uh, the swamp actually already makes their way into this area. But there's going to be a lot of spam, so they might have to force here to actually to get the, uh, the mid fight. Oh, it's oh, nice jump by Tom. Yeah, they 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 will sh they shoot. No, they don't pop. Okay, Tom beats two rockets in contact with uh with Degu and Degu just milks. All right, nice play by nice play by the chat medic right there. <laughs> I was gonna say balls uh, of steel, but then I looked at Degu's health and he was at over a hundred, so not even balls of steel. Uh, he doesn't even need it. Yeah, it's more like was... rockets of uh, rockets of uh, of paper or some or something like that from Tom doing no damage. I know the push is coming from the choke point. There is a sniper on the field for for nation, but he gets obliterated by Pred. Nice jump by him. Fourth control point goes for the for the swamp for free, and they still have 40% Uber, Uber to uh, advantage to work with if they so choose. But no, once again, it looks like they are going to take it slow. Yeah, everybody gets buff here on this sniper deck area. Now they're moving in together. They actually go for a play, run into a sentry gun though. Ooh. They just got spammed out immediately. And Pratt just goes go for Mauro okay. and gets and scrapped gets for his uh, efforts as well. And now the push comes in. Uber is popped off. Uh, on the scout, you nothing really to frag yet, though. As uh, Kermit and Daddy Nation go down, and uh, in the end, easy cap of the big play from Pratt. That's so bad, though. No? Like, he, he, he jumps with two rockets, <laughs> has to reload in front of the enemy team, and still gets two frag. Uh... Yeah, that should not have happened. Another big mistake from the Danger Dogs, and we are tied here at one all on uh, CP Sunshine. 18 minutes to go, and uh, off to the third mid we go. Let's see if uh, we will have some variation from the from the swamp. They got they got blocked uh, previous mid, and no, they still put the heels on the on their territories. But this time Domo puts pressure across the point. It just looks like a mirrored spam duel, but. Why is the Danger Dog, uh, Dog team so far back? Smear has to sack because he's fed up of this and gets destroyed. Nice follow up by Tombo. They managed to get Degu, they managed to get Gink, and now it's a 3 on 3 situation with Moro still alive. I don't know how the Danger Dogs managed to get this many frags without their combo in, uh, in inside the mid. They were in cafe for the whole mid fight. And Tom and Scrap actually clean up uh, Crayon as well. Yeah, what happened there was Danger Dogs. Uh, ate a lot of spam and damage in the early stages of this fight, and then just decide, okay, we're probably not gonna win this mid. Let's just go in and go for the medic and maybe uh, get go for the repush. But they got more kills than expected, I think. Tom survived, uh, actually grabbed two health packs behind them, and now they have full advantage into second point. The dogs are not dead yet. No, they are not. But Crayon is sniping. Is going to be close to the shutter door. It's not the best uh, line of sight, but he's, go he's not going to be spotted. Early by the by the Danger Dog squad, but Moro is perfectly safe. They managed to grab the fourth control point without any issues, and they still have a 40% Uber advantage that they this time will opt to use the Uber earlier uh, from under. They get the Sentry and they get the dispens the all important dispenser pick. Stickies are on point, but now now they have to deal with a demo man, a Pyro, and a heavy weapons guy. But that's not going to happen, and Moro even dies. Oh my God. The Domo roller pipe actually catches Moro out there in the end. And another beef push from the Angel Dogs. Once again, rushing in. They kind of had to this time, but, uh, you know, 
not no scouting whatsoever, run into up classes and fail to deal with them. Now the swarm makes their way into lobby here uh, with the uber advantage. Go from the sniper deck. Kermit gets caught out really early. One less defender, but the blue uber gets popped, uh, gets forced out. Nice work there from the uh, dog soldiers. Uh, but they did bleed two players, so mid fight, uh, mid point yeah. may actually fall as well if they're fast. Indeed, two players down, a soldier on, on the scout. They still have the pyro on, uh, on the blue side, and they don't have scouts on the field as Ging dies to the to the sticky trap. But it's not even going to matter. The scout shot pyro is on the point, lighting his enemy on fire, making them cry tears of blood probably. As Mir goes down, but the dogs are going to fight this time. They are they are they are fed up of the shenanigans from the from the blue team. It's going to work though because they have the forward spawns, so they can buy a lot of time. But Crayon and Degu are still not dead. Yeah, in the end, the OP class survives, and actually Crayon once more peeking around the corner, although his mat is way, way back off. Tom actually goes for a play on Crayon and kills him from behind. You know, that's the the weakness of Pyros. Just shoot them from behind. They can't do crap about it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, quite a bit, uh, quite a bit, a bit of a mistake from uh, from Crayon. Maybe he should do, he should take Highlander classes in order to play the class better. Who knows? <laughs> but Ubers are equal, and the dogs are posturing themselves onto last. It's so one to one. Fifteen minutes left. Stalemate situation. Uh, is Tom going to off class? Possibly, possibly. So. Uh, no, he, he does play a pretty roaming role, but I don't think he's quite the off class uh, on this team, uh, from what I've seen. Um, Danger Ducks, this is going to be an important push because uh, this map has been really slow so far, so the next round to be won here can be the deciding round on this map. And Danger Ducks absolutely need to win this map in order to stay in contention for an immediate qualification for Prem Season 29. Otherwise, we'll have to play tomorrow again. Yep, and uh, the play is going to be Nation on Sniper. He has, he has hit quite a few heads so far, but uh, the, but didn't make any like ga any round winning impact so far, unless my memory is failing me. I think he no, just he hit like, some headshots, but that's it. So yeah, the play is going to be the Sniper, but the sidelines on this last point aren't quite uh, quite easy and look at where Degu is there's no chance nation manages to manages to pick far enough to get him. The most he can do is probably grab a soldier, a demo man if he's lucky. Yeah I think uh Swamp actually defenses really well here pretty close to the interest points. Uh, now he gets a nice shot but he misses and uh Tom actually pays uh, for guarding him there. Um yeah this is a quite the hot uh last point to actually snipe into here and he uh, actually baits his teammate and Tom loses his life for that and the swamp actually <laughs> crayon still on the pyro class here denying the stickies and the, the spam but no real commitment to uh, pushing out here from the swamp. Pyro is good uh, nowadays, uh, nowadays that the flames uh, have been buffed quite a lot. <laughs> There's actually new unlocks a lot but crayon does not opt to, to use them so far. As the power drag is quite good already. Crayon instead goes to Sniper and dies instantly. Maybe he should have stayed up on Pyro after all. And the soldier, it's Tom who equips the shotgun and tries to make some plays for, for Nation. Manages to just kill Elen and trade with her, uh, with him, sorry. Uber is popped by the by the blue guys. Where is uh, Moro dies to the Uber charge? Okay, uh, did she drop? Okay. Okay, so she pushes in the choke point and then drops, alright. Yeah, that was kind of a weird play. I'm not sure if she maybe had a PC issues, uh, PC issue, because the sort of was right in her face and she just did not press the button. But yeah, uh, a mistake once again for Danger Dogs, you know, maybe a, a crucial mistake as Kermit gets caught out in a lobby area. And uh, now Ilan jumps in. Tom tries to go in behind and clean up some plays. Actually, they do get gink. And the uh, blue uber was popped and really unsuccessful. Yeah, that's quite good. Uh, the dogs, um, the dogs managed to retain control of the of this fourth control point. Maybe that was a play <laughs> after all in order to maybe bait the maybe bait the swamp out. But <laughs> that's quite a blunder indeed. Fortunately, Morono has a, a 60% uber advantage. Let's let's hope that they they use the uber advantage um, better than what they did previously. 
as you, as you mentioned, rushing pushes. I think a big factor is also that they don't back off early enough when they realize they can't get anything done. Yeah, that's true. They try to commit too hard. Uh, uh, as the Red River comes in now, Smyrna almost gets dropped by Myra. Sentry Gun goes down, no frax once again. Uh, Pyro Crayon is actually too good. Nation gets a nice uh, headshot on him though, so it's a 5v5 and now Danger Dogs realize they have beefed this once again back off and they have to be careful not to run into the blue uber here right now. I mean, no, they have beefed. Before it wasn't a beef, they were just... they were just... Uh, inciting dogs to uh, the swamp to push out, but they give two more picks. Two, pi two more picks plus the river advantage is going to be a, f uh, a fourth control point for sure. So <laughs> yeah, a bit of a problem in communication and calling from the from the dogs uh, from the dogs. And maybe they need some coaching from Cadus or something. <laughs> and Nation actually hitting some headshots now, but they. Uh, the people here headshots don't actually quite die, so they always come out and the Ubers are being trained here to be here. There's a lot of flashes for Moro, uh, and Tom realized that an go for a play here actually gets cleaned up though, and Marwan is a big trouble now. So uh, low HP and uh, the swamp take all the frags. And Prez is behind actually and, and cleans Moro as, uh, as she escaped. Uh, it's so it's uh, so poorly played by by dogs once again. That's two mistake. That's two critical mistakes in a row. Like they had the good counter uber, but they just spread where they could have just keep the uber on to Tom, play it slow, keep control of the mid, keep control of the high ground, and keep control of the of the of the the hate. Oh, I said it already. I meant the forward spawn. Sorry. But instead, yeah. they, they they just spread around, tried to go for multiple one v ones, and and just lost. Yeah, it was too many people in the Uber, and the Uber faded really early afterwards. There was it was just cleanup time for the swamp. You have uh, a nice big fat advantage here, make the way into last, and uh, let's see if they can do this more effectively than the Danger Dogs have been doing. It goes pop. They already get one frag. They get the sentry gun. The stickies are getting cleaned, and crayon puts cap time. The dogs, uh, the, the dogs have to come out of spawn all from the same door, but the, the infamous Pyro is in once again, but can't do anything against five people. And there is the crucial round you you talked about previously. Yeah, I mean, it's so bad because the Angel Dogs had control for most of this round. They had uh, the map, they had the the fourth point, pushed into the last multiple times, and then they get punished for one or two mistakes. and. The comeback from Swamp uh, to win the third round here. Two one up by the Swamp. The Danger Ducks have to come up with something here, Kriggy. Yep, they do. Uh, I'm going to pay attention to what the to what the Red Soldiers do. They are quite passive, actually. Tom goes for the Church and Nation opts to go behind. So now they have no buffs. They are in no position in, uh, to to make a play. They make a play with 160 health. Both bomb heal him, <laughs> who gets destroyed on the Church. Hate advantage for the for the red soldiers, but in the meantime the frags are going the way of the of the swamp. Galvan collected, collect the frags on the ground, go slow, protect the goo, and there you go, wipe. I really like how Swamp is playing. They seem like the the veterans here against the team that uh, consists of players who have played Prem before. They they are you know taking their time, they they're making smart decisions, they don't rush things and um, their the gameplay seems oddly enough seems a lot more mature than the uh, the one from the Danger Dogs and uh, they find themselves in advantageous position and then if they have an advantage they actually use that advantage and ape use it in order to get profit out of it. Yep, and now they have another 50% uh, advantage. I'm I am not sure if they spotted the the camp sniper. But it's not going to matter as Degu goes in from uh, from the low ground. The sentry gun is just being moved, so it's, it's not going to be a factor at all. The pyro is out for, for for the danger dogs. One casualty for for both teams. It looks a bit better from the from the dogs for the moment, but position once again bought by Pred, just jumping in and jumping out, making pe people look at him. Is going to be enough for the for the swamp to claim the third round. Yeah, Pred is making the plays Fourth. all over the place here. And 3-1 up in the swamp. Uh, definitely an uphill battle now once again. And, you know, you have to wonder, is Danger Dogs crumbling now? I don't know if we can call it uh, re-crumbling. Like, they are showing that 
they are lacking a bit uh, in comparison to their opponents, but maybe it's just the regular maybe it's just the regular level. And Moro is running crits, thanks Gem for the notice. So there is the there is the, the mix-up, so maybe we will expect maybe we will see a passive play. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, all in all the Domo gets uh, slammed by uh, by quite uh, quite the combined uh, rocket spam. Crayon opts to go for a play onto Moro. And interestingly enough, it looks like the mids, uh, the dogs are winning, are the mids where they just are almost stay out of mid and bait the, the swamp in. Yeah, they, you know, as you said, you, you wanna play a uh, defensive mid when you're on Chris Creek in order to kind of bait them forward into you and then crits them away. You have the, you know, charge advantage. And now let's see if they can use the crits for some kind of surprise here. Yeah, you know, they might may have spotted on mid that Maro is running crits. It's much harder to do anything effective with it if the opponent expect expects it. But we've seen Degu run crits on the first uh, on the first play of this map, and it wasn't exactly successful. And Tom is already dead, so <laughs> it's not looking that great for for the for the red team. But the crits get uh, gets something. But crit stick is on sentry and does not don't do more damage. And Smear gets slammed by pipes. No nation opts to go in, but is me is met with a, a fierce Tomislav. So failed push by by the dogs, but they managed to keep three players alive. And are going to have spawns, I believe, in time in order to maybe fight on uh, the f on the fourth control point once again. And they have they have um, shown uh, shown to us that their hold of the fourth control point is actually quite decent. They managed to turn the situation uh, around. And uh, some decides already. not to push out here uh, in order to not risk getting back kept again. But now Maro faces herself in a situation where they know she's running crits and they're gonna try uh, charge in, at least get the force out, uh, draw back, and then build this crit kick faster than the enemy team can build their Uber. It's gonna be a tough thing to do here as they are uh, approaching it from the left side. Smirro goes for the Hey Mary sticky. There's nobody home though. Takes a lot of damage, finally gets a frag on Ilan, but <laughs> the, the medic is not forced whatsoever. Smear a pace with his life, and the uh, heavy weapon guy once again scares everybody away. It's not so bad though, because they don't because they don't uh, give uh, give away too many frags. In that case, only one. It doesn't make the push for the for the dogs easy, even though they have the the full advantage and the enemy team is running crits. Uh, so yeah, once again the dogs aren't quite uh, the the swamp sorry aren't quite sure if they should push or not because the crits build so fast. Look at look at this. Moro is already at 90 percent. They can just crit in again and again and again, and eventually Smear is going to hit something miraculous. They hope. Yeah, but once again, that's the thing. I, I actually would have liked to uh, see them commit to one push, and then Moro can switch off Uber, or maybe even open the spawn door from uh, forward spawn, and so the medic can swap. Because it's so obvious they're gonna run crits now, and there you go. Smirro just gets headshot instantly. The crits is popped up, and nothing happens. Uh, yeah, that's you know they're between a the rock and the hard place. You know they wanna go for plays, but. You know, and Mero wants to survive, but that means she's gonna run crits, and actually now she Mero makes her way... is for the, for the spawn, uh, I think. Or, or she just crashes? It's, oh, a, it's a pause, pause. Okay. It's a pause or a server crash, I'm not quite sure yet. But yeah, they are gonna... It looks like they're gonna go for what I suggested, that they switch off of the crits creek into the uber, and then go for the standard, try to force them, make a play kind of thing. Because uh, I think the crits yeah. creek at this point has proven to be ineffective. But with that said, they are really choosing the stick with which they will get beaten because there's only three minutes left. So Moro swaps to Uber, builds Uber. It's uh, two minutes left. I know they have like two chances left against uh, an enemy Uber to break the hold. Yeah, I mean, so, depending yeah, what this pause is about, though. I mean, the pause obviously is 90 uh, seconds in the future, so it's not uh, anything happening right now as we look at this game and they have unpaused I think for the player to rejoin um, but yeah as you time is definitely an issue um, but and even you know, uh, even even if uh, even if they do score the round they still have to score three rounds in two minutes so this post doesn't actually mean anything I don't see the point of uh, switching off crits in that case given that they most likely have lost 
<laughs> they don't even do it. <laughs> I think they were going for it, but Smith was already out of spawn, so um, they are gonna run crit critic once again. Maybe they're just... yeah, go for it. Yeah, maybe they were disjointed, but Smith seems to call for it once more. Yeah, I guess uh, that's the only thing they could they can do. Uh, just play for for the honor. He tw uh, kill, kill like five guys with one sticky thing, you know. But <laughs> okay. I mean, if you always crit from the same door, of course the, the enemy team is going to expect it, but there are actually other doors on this map. Actually, uh, I saw uh, Yetking on Spy checking the medigun, um, because they knew it was going to be a, a possibility that they just switch and the crit comes in now under the pocket soldier, but <laughs> gets completely okay. denied by Crayon. And, you know, the Pyro class proves OP once again with a reflect kill here on the crit creek and the swamp don't have to do anything. They're just comfortable on last. I don't think they have actually popped this uber for like five minutes now. But no, they, they don't, don't have to. Exactly. And now is when the pause happens. It's actually Eden who, who crashed. It would have been a much different story if it was Degu, but fortunately for the swamp, he didn't. And yeah, the swamp looks uh, to be uh, looks like they are in perfect control of this game. Really, not a lot of uh, tactical options uh, for, for for the dogs right here. They try to pick from uh, they try to pick from their left hand side once again. And this time they manage to actually force the Uber charge onto Degu, but they are two down. Nation is extremely weak. Scrav is too. Smear goes in, gets one soldier, and and that's it. And now they have to deal with the heavy weapons guy. I think that's yeah. the I think that's the GG push right there. That's gonna be a GG. They tried to go for something. Actually, got the force off, but once they uh, critted in, the rest of the team went out or had or was had already died. So, congratulations to the Swamp qualifying for season 29 Premiership tier after Yay. the nice win. Um, the Danger Dogs will have to jump through another hoop against Aura Electro, who managed uh, to win their game against the Princess Disney fangirls or something like that. Uh, <laughs> Professional uh, Disney fangirls. They aren't princess. princesses. Princesses. Uh, they aren't we all just beautiful princesses? But yeah, that's gonna be a decided match between these two teams. Uh, and Danger Dogs, after losing two best of threes. How will they feel going into that? Yeah, we, are, we will have the opportunity to ask them, I'm sure. Do we have some logs in the meantime, though? In a second, uh, GG's are being called. Just to sum this up, as I think they even capped around, we totally missed that. Uh, so it's gonna be the Swamp 2-0 in maps, 4-1 on Goody Wash and 3-2 on CP Sunshine advancing to Premiership and GG's are being called, Pred calls out, see you in Prem Hope and uh, all the Frank Z lovers out there agree. Yep, GG to the mostly British team. Uh, yeah, they, they, they really deserve their win, uh, nothing uh, Nothing to say against uh, against it. They clearly proved superior on this uh, on this uh, this map. And I hope for the dogs that they get some uh, some kind of a team talk tomorrow, or they just hope, or they just uh, or maybe they are just confident that their 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 deathmatch skill is so superior to Aura Electro that they don't have to adjust anything to qualify. But uh, yeah, they really have to. Clean up some of their big mistakes if they want to compete with the professional. And we do have on screen right now Domo actually outplaying everybody uh, with 300 DPM. Uh, by far the most damage on the on the server here. 18 to 10, staying safe in the meantime. Did not die a lot. Kept his his himself and his medic uh, alive. We see that uh, Eud King actually had a big map. 22 frags. 12 assists, only 9 deaths, which is not uh, common on Scout that you just, you know, don't seem to die. And uh, my favorite player for tonight, Pred, and 16 and 12, a positive KD again on Wormer, which is, uh, you know, doesn't happen uh, all the time. No, 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 it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, but one thing that strikes me is the scores of the, the two Red Soldiers, Nation and Tom. 
Maybe they should play a bit more of more MGE uh, before returning to Prem for, for this season. I don't know, but <laughs> in either case, so in either case that um, I, f I feel quite uh, quite quite sad for them actually because Soldier is already a tough class to play, and in a game where your team has so little control, they really are meat sacks basically, yeah, and I the mean... stats show it. It didn't feel like uh, the soldiers were the problem, but you know, you know, we called out nations after the first map. On the second map, uh, both failed to do uh, deal the damage uh, that they were supposed to, and um, in the end, uh, if you don't deal enough damage, you don't get the franks. That's yeah. how it works in in, in uh, shooting games. I heard. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and some mids and some mids they win because the the swamp overextends and some mids lose because their soldiers don't go for bombs with their buffs and opt to just spam and then bomb with like 180 health so yeah maybe they should adapt a bit a, a bit tactically i don't know they should probably watch the the demo but i think we will have the opportunity the opportunity to ask some do we have interviewees coming uh, okay yeah. We are Does not, not seem to, to be the case, yeah. No interviews. On the bright side, we will be off earlier, so everyone can go do it thing, thing and play. As we only have to do shoutouts for ourselves. Do you want to start? Yes, uh, first of all, shout out to everybody who watched. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the games. Uh, there will be one more qualifier match, not sure when it will be happening. Like, uh, between Danger Dogs and Aura Electro, so stay tuned for that on TFTV and etipto.org. Should be scheduled rather soon after the results are up. Uh, shout out to Jem for doing a marvelous job showing uh, all kinds of stuff on stream, and shout out to Twiggy for carrying me through the evening. <laughs> no problem, dude. I don't think I carried anything, to be honest, but here's my shout out. Sh uh, shout out to, to Jem, as you, as you said, doing. An awesome job. Shout out to Kermit and to and to Degu as well. Uh, shout out to shout out to Shark. Shout out to Swan. And shout out to all viewers. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Yeah. Once again, this uh, has been TFTV for you. Prem qualifier upper bracket finals. The Swamp will be on stream, and the Danger Dogs will have to fight another round. Live to fight another day. Uh, good evening from all of you, from all of us here at TFTV, and hope you have a good night.